Okay, inshallah. Today we will talk about the Muharram. Today is the fifth of Muharram, yeah? And it's Arabic New Year. Yeah? yeah. Sami? So fifth of Muharram. Muharram has got some sort of uh, importance, importance um, from a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, uh, whoever will first in uh, ninth and tenth of Muharram, okay? The Ashura, which is called the Ashura. How did the name Ashura came? It's actually, it, came, it derived from the Arabic Arabic number Ashar. You know Ashar means ten, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, seven, Ashar. So from there we got the Ashura, yeah? Ashura means the tenth of Muharram, okay? Tenth of Muharram. Tenth of Muharram, yeah. Arabic calendars, uh, first month, which is Muharram, and when it falls to tenth of Muharram, it is called Ashura. So on that day, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala did lots of significant uh, things, like uh, rescuing Prophet Musa from, uh, you know, from Firaun. You understand? So, and there are lots of other things as well. And and. When Islam was first, meaning when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam became prophet, all the Muslimin used to voluntarily first on Muharram. When Muharram Ramadan wasn't there at that time, do you understand? Yeah. And then after a few years, Allah subhanahu wa taala made Ramadan compulsory on every Muslim to fast on Ramadan, not on Muharram. But then Muharram remained optional. If you want to fast in Muharram, then you should first nine and tenth of Muharram. That is the uh, you know, uh, that's what Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us. So, if you fast in Muharram for Ashura, you ha you should fast ninth, tenth, or tenth and eleventh, right? Because the Yehudi people, the Jewish people, they fast on tenth. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Khaliful Yehud." Khaliful Yehud. Yehud meaning oppose the Yehud when you fast in Muharram. Just do a day before it, before the Ashura, or a day after the Ashura. Yeah. Yeah. Now about this fasting, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, yeah, listen carefully. He said, أَحْتَسِبُ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَنْ يُكَفِّرَ سَنَةً قَبْلَهُ أو كما قال عليه صلى الله عليه He goes, whoever will fast in Muharram, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive the sin of the past one year. Yeah? yeah. Now we need to understand, is that something, um, something, you know, is that something like, which will forgive our major sins as well, like shirk and stuff like that, you know, uquq al meaning being disobedient to your parents. Would Allah forgive those? The answer is, all the scholars have agreed, unanimously all the scholars have agreed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive any kabair, any, until, unless you ask Allah's forgiveness, okay? Some of the kabair is, I will just name them, okay? Al-Ishraq Billah, associating partner with Allah, okay? If you share partner with Allah, associate partner with Allah, that is one of the shit, one of the big sin. Okay, yeah. Allah doesn't forgive it unless you make a tawbah and return to Allah properly, and you don't commit it anymore. Okay. The second sin is ukuqul walidain. Second biggest sin, ukuqul walidain, is being disobedient to your parents. You understand? Yeah. This is one of the biggest sin. Okay, and then uh, it goes like qawl zur, talking, uh, telling lies, basically. When you yeah. When you, you know, um, tell lies, so that, that's a major sin as well. Then it goes in order like cheating, deceiving people, yeah. do you understand? Stealing, robbing, those are major sins. Zina, committing adultery, yeah? Those, yeah, uh, all those yeah. things, of yeah. course. Masturbation, yeah, of <laughs> course, it is, it is a big sin as well. Yeah, yeah it is a, 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 one of the kabira sin. So all those sins are kabai, right? If you do not regret from those sins and do not ask Allah's forgiveness, of course Allah is not going to forgive, forgive you. Do you understand? Yeah. But once Rasulullah said, the fasting of the Ashura will, uh, uh, you know, erase the sin of the, of, of, of the year before, that gives the meaning of Sagair, all the little sin. Okay? All those sin which is little in the sight of Allah. So can you do good? Can you not like, what, beg for forgiveness and wrong done? Of you course, of course, in sins. Ramadan. Yeah, Ramadan is the month when you can ask Allah's forgiveness yeah. from all the sins. Did you get that? Because yeah. the Ramadan is a special month. Do you understand? Yeah. Nothing can take over the, uh, the the importance of Ramadan. Do you understand? Yeah. All those things, Shawwal, six fasting, Zil Hijjahs, um, you know, for 10th days of the Zil Hijjah, yeah. and the Muharram, and then you got Shaban, and then you got Sha you know, all those Islamic calendar months, like after Ramadan, whatever you will hear, they cannot actually. Uh, 
be the alternative of Ramadan. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. So wherever you will get the, those kind of wording from hadith that Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, I hope that Allah will forgive uh, the sin of the past one year. Do you understand? Yeah. That means all the sagair, all the sagair meaning the small sins. Do you understand? Yeah. Small sins can be, for example, you know, let me just give you an example. <clears throat> Um, are you listening? Guys, listen. For example, you looked at a woman while you were walking on the street. Do you understand? You looked at her and then um, you stay, you, your, your gaze was on her for a while. Yeah? yeah. And then you realized, oh no, what am I doing? Then you turned your eyes away from her. Yeah. That was a small sin before, the one first time. But then again, if you looked at her again, just, you know, deliberately, that is going to be... But what if, what if you looked at her, mm -hmm. but you're not staring at her, you're staring behind her? Okay, that's that's again because you're looking at her beauty. You understand? No, no, like you're trying to locate something and she's in the way. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's obviously, that's not a sin. That's yeah. not a sin. Okay. Right. Similarly, if you had to talk to a lady while she's like a shopkeeper or somebody who's serving you yeah. and you had to look at her. Yeah. Okay. The purpose is in that, that, that situation is the transaction. Do you understand? Yeah. Exchanging, did you get that? Mm. So this is a different purpose. Allah will forgive it. Do you understand? Yeah. But obviously, we should avoid women, isn't it? We should avoid all the time. But now, Unless you're let's say, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> now let's say you you uh, you always go to a store because of a particular lady. Yeah. That's haram. That's haram. haram because your interest is now. Of course, it is obvious. It is obvious. Obvious. Do you understand?